we have with us uh, Ms. Teller Paramount from the Elegance Advisory. Hello, ma'am. Welcome at the ETHR World Annual Conclave. First thing first, how has been your experience so far? Thank you so much. Thank you for welcoming me, and I'm beyond happy to be here. It has been already yesterday a full day that's been inspiring for me. I've learned so much. I've been around such thought leaders. It has really been something that I know will make a big impact on my ability to lead my organization, and I know also other people here feel the same. Okay, great. Now, what are the trends and technologies that you see that's emerging in your category? Yeah, thank you very much. So in the areas of emotional intelligence and etiquette, which is where areas I work in, the technology definitely is a big part because we're talking about AI. So AI is not human, right? So I am offering, through what I'm doing, it's how do you how do you keep on offering emotional intelligence? How does that play a role in artificial intelligence? It actually plays a very big role. And so we're creating different programs and different products that help support companies and teams as they go into that AI sphere while still keeping that human element in it. That's okay. one area. Now, uh, as you what exactly your company do, can you tell more about that? Sure. So the Elegance Advisor Consultancy, which has an office in Dubai and in Mumbai, what we do is we basically do coaching at executive level, mid-manager level, or large workshops where we empower people through developing their emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is anything from empathy, through authentic leadership, through the soft skills of presenting themselves, etiquette, etc. So basically we, we give different skill sets. So we've been talking a lot about skill gap, right? So the gap between what people need and what the leaders think that they need and oftentimes that comes down to emotional intelligence being aware having empathy and things of that nature so we really support that and I know a lot of HR executives are looking for that now okay. and lastly uh, what are the key takeaways that you would probably have from this event and two things that you like being in Goa like, let's start with the Goa. Goa is beautiful. We were just saying how incredibly peaceful it is. I love that we have taken, we're out of the environment. So I, I travel all over India. I, just, I was just saying I was in Bangalore recently. I'll be in Mumbai. I'm going to Delhi after this. So those are really big cities. It's amazing, beautiful also, but different. So it's nice to be out. So I think being in Goa is wonderful to have that space and that feeling. And uh, the takeaways from here. I think the takeaways are that we all share commonality, that we all are, are dealing with the same problems, that we are all human, that we all have so much to learn from each other, and that being here, there's so much information being passed in an environment that's very supportive, and that we should lean into that, especially leaning into our authenticity as leaders and increasing our emotional intelligence. Well, thank you so much for talking to us and sharing those insights. I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening as well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you.